welcome back to another one of my videos. Today's video is going to be a little bit different for me. I went into Primark a couple of days ago and saw a couple of bargains and thought I've got to show you because if you really like hard up for eyeshadows and stuff then this is like a real bargain. I'm going to show you. You know I love Disney. Well look. Ursula eyeshadow. Can you see? Look at the price. It's supposed to be an eight quid, three pound. Right, it's really cute. It's got a little tassel. Um, comes with twelve colours. Um, okay. And then I saw this one. I thought this is definitely me. As you probably can guess, Mary Poppins. Pretty be perfect in every way. Not. Anyway, look at the price of that game. Like five quid, it's supposed to be ten quid. And this one's really cute because it comes with. It's got this little mirror. Look. Okay. And then there's an umbrella with little rain coming down. And then you've got your eyeshadows. And then in the middle bit is um, highlighters. So you have six highlighters and 12 eyeshadows for five quid, which is like ridiculous and there is quite a nice range of colours as you can see the range of from dark to sort of very neutrally colours so I thought I will show you these now I'm no makeup artist I'm no James Trials okay but I thought we'll have a bit of a bit of fun I will do this eyeball in Ursula I should have so this eyeball will be baddy witchy this eyeball would be goody. Maybe Poppins, practically perfect in every way. Oh, I don't say nothing like Poe Poppins. I don't know what I sound like then. But anyway, so that is what I'm going to do. Anyway, I think I'll start with the baddie eyeball. So I'm going to start with the witch. <laughs> I think that's more like me than Mary Poppins, practically perfect in every way. I think he, look, he looks a bit like me. <laughs> definitely has my my cleavage oh she can't see her cleavage but she definitely has mm. and my back wings <laughs> mm. I don't think I've got her lips though <laughs> but I think we'll do um I think we'll do the greens I think they're quite nice don't you mm, has I got green eyes yes right let's go for it I've only got a few brushes. I, again, I'm not James Martin. I have James Martin. <laughs> He's the chef. <laughs> I meant James Charles. Sorry, James Charles. I think he's lovely, by the way. But, um... <laughs> James Martin. Right, I'm no James Charles, so don't expect James Charles' eyeballs. This is Steph. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to start with the very pale green, I think. I think I'll start with this very sort of neutrally sort of colour. Right, I'm going to put it over my my lid. Okay. I do have very hooded eyelids. Okay. Just a very neutral colour, just to give it a ba base light. I know I haven't put any primer on, but I am only playing at the moment. I just wanted to show you like the bargains I got. I thought, oh yeah, they're so good. Well, next one, I think I'm. I think we're going for a slightly darker green. Do you like that? Oh, I like that colour, sort of aqually green, sort of. Oh, Ash, actually, Ursula's got that colour. Perhaps I should do it like Ursula. What do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, she's got green bit there, and then she's got black bit up there. Let's go for it. <laughs> right, I'm going to go for it. Then. Okay. I'm going to put the, the, the really sort of aqually green one on. That sort of one. Okay, and Ursula... It's got it over the lid. The eyebrow. If I'd done this, um, quite a saggy eyelid as well. I'm sorry. Oh, it's not attractive. Uh, but if, like, sort of, well, you know, just blend it into the crease of the eye. 
bit, a bit of definition. Okay, all right. Actually, that's quite a nice colour. Got to admit. Look at that. That is quite a nice colour. Sorry, I got you wrong. Um, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in for the bit of a darker green now. It's a dark sort of twinkly green. Put what twelve eyeshadows for three quid. I mean, you can't really go wrong. Um, you know. Well, I do find the eyelid a bit more like that, and I do like leaving the bit here. Um, pow, like I've done. I think it just makes me because I've got such little eyes, it makes my eyeballs pop a little bit more. Um, so, um, I know I said I was gonna put black up there, but would you? Stuff it, let's go for it. I'll try this black, shiny, black, twinkly one, shall we? Let's go. Um, I might go for a bigger brush. <laughs> this is fun. Really? Hold on, got old me lid going because my lids, eyelids have got a mind of their own. Trying to blend it as much as I can. I'm going to try and blend all the, the colours in as much as you can. See, so, yeah, quite nice. I mean, if you did the whole eyeball, the whole entourage, the eyebrows and the mascara, that is quite nice eyeshadow. Look at that. I'm going to put a bit of underneath. I don't know whether to go for the black or whether to go for the green. I think I'll go for the I do like that aqua greeny colour, so I'm going to go for that. And Ursula seemed to like that colour too. So, I've got it on my face. I am a messy person, I see. I've got it on my face. <laughs> I'm not going to laugh while I'm doing this, but that probably focuses on the eye. Oh, we are. Look at that. That's quite nice. Look. What do you think? Right. Again, I say all I put on is the eyeshadow. Okay, so um, eyeliner with your mascara and your you oh, very sexy. I would say it's probably um, a going out sort of look, but for three pounds, I think that makeup palette is a really good buy. Anyway, next eyeball. This eyeball is going to be. Perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. Super colour frontalistic as really dolshas. Ew. Sorry, but I've got uh, I've got black one on black stuff all over this hand. I've got it on the trousers. I do the washing, so it don't really matter, does it? Right. Now what colour should we do on no good looking at Mary Poppins because she's <laughs> she hasn't got a face on this picture. I'm going, let's have a look at her, see what kind of makeup she's wearing. <laughs> That's not going to work, Steph. Anyway, I think we'll go for the like, neutrally colours, yeah? Should we go for more of a daytime daytime look? Yes, let's go for daytime. So I'm going to start with the, the, the light sort of um, creamy colour, I think, okay? And I'm going to do the same as I did with the last one and put it. Oh, I do need to get myself some blushes. I'm going to put this all over my lid again, like I did with the last one. Okay. This one is sort of like a sandy colour, I would say. Yeah, definitely. Give it a push blue. Or we're supposed to dap it. Oh, I don't know. I told you I'm no James. James. Really? I am who I am. Mm, it's quite, yeah, it's quite a nice natural colour. Like I said, it's very sandy. I would say 
but this looks probably going to be more everyday sort of look. Um, I could put a little bit more on the lid, I think. Like that, I think. Ooh, I do. Yeah, I think I should go at one eye this colour. One eye. Oh, I look. Might do that. Right, and then I think we'll go in. We're going for the. We're gonna stick to the sort of naturally sort of goldy sort of colour. So let's go in with the next sort of darker colour. Yeah, and I'll put this in my crease again. All right. I would say this one sort of terracotta-y colour, maybe. Oh, that. So I'm gonna put the thin palette down I think, because I need to close me eye with me fingers because. I want to show you what I'm doing and if I've got my eye screwed up while I'm showing you, how can you see? Isn't that it? Okay, I think leaving a slightly um, white piece in the middle of your lid so it just makes your eyes look a bit more pulp poppy okay and then we're going i'm gonna go in with the next darker shade i think this one's like this one looks slightly slightly twinkly it's pretty look okay actually this one's quite tasty this one's sort of bronzy color so you want to do the same Nice colour on it. Okay. You go over the bit of the white, the, the bit that you, that you keep light, just get some of that lighter colour, like the sandy colour or whatever colour you're using, and then just dab that in the middle of the lid, like that, and it just, as you can see. One definitely more sort of subtle. Um, I'm not going to go over the top with a dark colour because I say this one is supposed to be sort of Mary Poppy, sort of natural, naturalish. Um, I think I'll go out. I'll go underneath with that um, coppery colour because I like that colour. I'm blowing again. I'm sorry. Now we've got Ursula. Oh no. Maybe Poppins. I can't. <laughs> My eyes have a mind of their own. They do not want to shut and show you. Anyway, as you can see, this one. I smudged that one a little bit. Anyway, I've got Natural, Ish, and Ursula. With the. I haven't got highlighters with the Ursula one, but with the. Mary Poppins ones, you do have those highlights. I'm not sure about the bright pink one. I'm not sure if you'd really want bright rosy cheeks. I might even try that one just for you. I am. Right. This is for you because I love you. Right. <laughs> Surely that's not supposed to be a highlighter. Oh no. I will. Close me walls. I look like I've been specked in the face. Oh my god. Maybe I put on just a little bit too much, but it has gone. Oh. Mm -hmm. If you want. I've got rosy cheeks, haven't I? You've got rosy cheeks because you're supposed to be Mary Popping. But, yeah. Look. Well, you know, it is a very bright pink, though, I've got to admit. hope you've enjoyed my little play with my new makeup. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go now. Bye-bye.